Today, Claire is going to show us some 19th century optical toys. These toys use strips of sequential cartoons to create their illusion. As you can see, each image differs slightly than the one before it. This is the zoetrope, invented in 1834 by the Englishman William Warner. A strip of the cartoons are placed in the centre of the drum, which was then spun quickly like this. When viewed through the slits in the side, the cartoons appear to be one single moving image. Very clever, isn't it Claire? The zoetrope became a popular toy in the 1860s. This is the praxinoscope, invented in 1877 by Frenchman Emile Renaud. It works on the same principle of illusion as the zoetrope, but replaces the slits with these curved mirrors in the centre. When it is spun, the sequential cartoons are reflected in the mirrors, making a series of much clearer moving images. Much better, aren't they, Claire? In 1879, Renaud added a scenic painted background and a selection of static mirrors to his praxinoscope to create a praxinoscope theatre. A single viewer could look through the hole in the lid and see a moving image against an imitation theatrical scene. The concept of viewing a moving image in a narrative context was an important development in 19th century optical entertainment. To see these items and many, many more, don't delay, come down to the Bill Douglas Centre today.